Oh my God. I never knew I've slept off. Uh uh. Holy Spirit. What type of dream is this? Blank board. Uh -uh. Oh my God. Holy Spirit, help me. Oof. And I need new songs now. Oh my God. Holy Spirit, help me. How will I have the lyrics without the tone? Oh, I know what I will do. I will sing some of the songs in my last album. I think that is what I will do. I swallowed my pride though. How would I have gotten such a huge amount of money in my account? Hey! See, Evangelist Busola, just they blow, they go, they blow, they blow, but don't scatter out. Eh? I'll be here as your pastor to spend the money. <laughs> ah! Only me. Okay, John, I want to update from your hand. So I just got a phone with Team A right now. Um, have you found any gospel artists? I need to know. Um not at all i'm still looking for one please we need as many as possible we need to explore please you guys should walk okay yes sir <laughs> yes who is that ma there's an old man down there who is there to see you ma okay i'm coming okay ma let me change my clothes. I will soon join you. Yes, ma. <laughs> oh, Lubusola. <laughs> How are you? How is work and ministry? Oh, daddy. Thank you, sir. I'm fine. Work is fine, too. That's our it. ministry is moving on by the grace of God. Oh, thank God. Bless God. Yes, I just decided to come and see you. I'm even grateful <laughs> about what I've seen around you. Mm -hmm. I thank you for allowing your men. Dad, I met on the door to allow me to see you today. Oh, Daddy, Emma, be no. It is the work of God. God is expanding the ministry. Mm -hmm. thank <laughs> Emma, God. be no. Obviously, I can see that in your house. Busola. What is this I'm seeing about you on social media? What is it? But, Daddy, I don't understand. You have suddenly changed, Busola. Your character, your mode of dressing, how you show up on social media. What is it? But why, Daddy? Uh -uh. Why? Everyone is calling me, congratulating me for what God has done in my life and my ministry. But here you are, Daddy, rebuking what the Lord has done in my life. But why, Daddy? You see, you are using questions to answer questions. Don't forget, I'm your father and the Lord. I'm your spiritual father. Busola, do you forget? That this is not the ministry that God called you to. You have delay. You have suddenly changed. Everything about you has changed. But why, Daddy? Since I've been waiting upon the Lord for ministerial breakthrough and open doors, now that the Lord has opened the effectual doors, many, many adversaries are rising now. So now <laughs> I'm your adversary. Do you forget I'm your spiritual father? Oh. You have changed. You need to retrace your step back to God. You know the word of God say in Hebrew 12, 5 to 8. Read you know. your Bible, let me hear. Yeah, my Bible. My Bible. Oh. My Bible. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hebrew what, sir? Hebrew 12, 5 to 8. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despite not thou the shortening of the Lord, nor faint where thou hast rebuked of him, for whom the Lord 
loves a, a sharpness and scorches every son whom he, re he receives. If ye endure sharply, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the, whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastenment, whereof all are partakers, that are ye bastards and not sons. Can you hear the word of God? I know you are not a bastard. But Busola, you need to heed to the warning of God. You need to trace yourself back to God. You are delaying. Busola, trace yourself back to God and heed to the warning of the Lord. <laughs> okay? Ah, uh, Daddy. I'll take my leave. Daddy. <laughs> Somebody say glory. glory. Say glory. glory. Shout hallelujah. So with Jesus' joy in our hearts, let's make welcome evangelist Oluwa Busola. Woo! Glory! You can do better than this. Come on, come on, come on. Give it up for Jesus. Hallelujah! Wave our hands to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, to the omnipotent God, omniscient God. Let's begin to sing. <speaking in Spanish> Amen. We are now going to the realm of praise and worship now. How many of you are here with your dancing shoe? Let me see your hands. Wave your hands unto the Lord and shout hallelujah. Now there is this special song that I want to sing. To worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So the name of the song is Gosa. I want you to say three Gosa. Oh yeah, say it. Gosa. Gosa. Uh -huh. Is that all you can do? If you want to do gosa to people in the world, how will you do it? I want you to demonstrate how you will do it. Oh yeah, I want to hear three gosa. 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 No. That one is for, is for the people in the world. Now we want to do the gosa to the king of kings, to the lord of lords, to omnipotence God. Father Is that all you are going to? Oh yeah. Let's do the gosa. Three gosa now. Gosa. Bossa! Bossa! Now we are going to turn into song. Bossa, 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 Amy, hallelujah, see Baba. 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 Oh, 
God, come save your people. God, come save your church. Come save your people. Hmm. Oh, that was awesome today. You mm -hmm. did a great job. Thank you very much. That was nice beautiful. Mm -hmm. huh? Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. doing a good job. You are here for the others, right? Yes. Where are the others? They are on their way. They are coming. Okay, good, good. So, mm. I want you to put in your best. Okay. okay? Because, I, okay. because I'm sure I can see potentials in the church there. Okay. Many more people will invite you. Okay. okay. So, I want you to put in your very best. Mm -hmm. I will put in my best by, by the special grace of God. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to help you in Jesus. Amen. Okay. Um, let's not forget. I want you to start putting together new song. Okay. Um, so I can have another album. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will tell Dami Crown to produce some CDs ah. so I can take to church. It's a good idea. People have been coming to me and asking maybe I have CDs for sale. Really? Ah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll, I'll tell you to do like ten to 20,000 pieces so we can sell, okay? Yeah. Thank you very much, sir, for your support. Thank you for everything oh. you've done for me. Oh, I really appreciate it. Oh, praise <laughs> to God. Okay. Um, you're looking good. Ah, thanks so much. I'd love to take you along right now. I'm, I'm going clubbing. I just have to do some clubbing, you know, with some associates too. Early in the morning, I'll be back. Okay. I would love to take you along <laughs> for your reasons, okay? <laughs> so just enjoy yourself, okay. feel free. Okay? Thank you, sir. <laughs> Take care Thank you. I'll Thank see you. you. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. <laughs> are you happy in the house? I have good news for someone today. We are in the era of grace. Grace is speaking in this race. Did you hear that? Oh, oh God. <laughs> Someone did not hear me. I said, grace is speaking in this race. So when grace is speaking, your grace becomes a trend. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's do Romans chapter 8 verse 1. It says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Once you are in Christ Jesus... There is nothing like condemnation for you. No sin. There is nothing you commit called sin. Your sin before, during, and after is pardoned. Hey, my God. Do not let anyone put fear in your mind. Do not let anyone deceive you. Once you are saved, you are forever saved. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone is not listening to me. I said, once you are saved, you are forever. Now, let me give you an example. A father can never abandon his son, no matter how much he has offended. So many of us are fathers. We have offended our fathers many times, but the fact that we keep offending our father has never eliminated us from being a son. So, <laughs> you can never stop being a child. Once you are saved, you are forever saved. Grace is speaking. God cannot reject, God cannot abandon, God cannot destroy any of his child. Who says you have committed sin? You have given your life to Christ once, whatever you do <laughs> is undone. <laughs> because grace is speaking. Once you are a child of God, you are forever a child of God. Once you are a child of God, <laughs> you are forever a child of God. The grace of God is speaking in this race. The grace of God is making your grace to become a trend. So I've got good news for someone. Once saved, always saved. You remember, Osas, it says, once saved, forever saved. Once saved, always saved. Come on, rejoice. Once saved, Forever saved, once saved, Jesus, all... Jesus, Jesus. Um, uh, um, I, I, I want us to to stand up as we as we. What happened, sir? The way you shouted during the service made every one of us afraid, and that was why. We couldn't continue with the rest part of the program. I'm so sorry. It wasn't intentional. Mm -hmm. When that young man was preaching, 
All I saw was total darkness. What? Total, total darkness. Darkness everywhere. Darkness? Darkness? Yes. Darkness? What could have caused the darkness? In my own. Everywhere was good and filled with the glory of God. Even the congregation was happy with every bit of the program. Many of them were not happy as Evangelist Busola was not permitted to minister. Ah. I'm, I'm very sorry. Please, help me call Evangelist Busola and apologize on my behalf. That we're going to give her more chance tomorrow. Okay, please do that for me. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. It's okay. We understand. I think the pastor is tired. So he needs time to rest. Thanks for your care. I really appreciate it. But I saw darkness. Darkness everywhere. Okay. Jesus. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. What kind of embarrassment is this? A whole me. A whole me. Ah, Pastor Henry Jackson. was embarrassed just like that. Ah! My sins have found me again. My sins has caught up with me. I thank God for the ministration of yesterday. I thank you, Lord, for today's ministration. But how the pastor just shouted, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Aha! Uh -huh. That was why we could not conclude the whole ministration. Ah! He has promised that there will be more time tomorrow for ministration. <laughs> Let me get ready for ministration of tomorrow. Holy Spirit, I, I ask for inspiration. Inspire me, Lord. Let me have new song to sing tomorrow. In Jesus' name, Amen. Holy Spirit, Come and teach me new songs. I need new songs now. <laughs> Holy Spirit, come and help me. I'm not seeing anything on the board. Holy Spirit, please, <laughs> come and teach me new songs. I need new songs now. <laughs> the board is blank. <laughs> There's nothing written on it. <laughs> Holy Spirit, please, come and teach me new songs. I need new songs now. <laughs> Oh my God, blank body again, ah, Lord have mercy, have mercy upon me Lord.
Hello. Hello, Evangelist. So sorry for what happened at the convention today. You have been given double time for administration tomorrow. Right? I'm sure you know that. Yes, sir. Uh, please. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to show the talent that God has given to you. Okay, sir. Many people attend tomorrow's program. Please package yourself very well and organize your sons properly. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Sister Busola. Sister Busola. 
I mean, evangelist Busola, take it by force. Oh, oh, oh. Um, you can play more. Let me just listen to part of it. Mm. Okay. Pastor, yeah. you are dancing. Me? Dancing? Never, <laughs> never, never. I don't know if I've started dancing. Ah, that's very strange, very strange anointing. Pastor, accept the fact you are dancing. I never knew I've started dancing, honestly. But this is a strange kind of anointing. I rebuke every foul spirit and every polluted mind in the name of Jesus. These are things that I'm talking about. These are not good. Stop it, please. Stop it. Uh, please stop. Stop the song. Please stop the song. Uh, please stop. Thank you. your help now. Holy Spirit, come and help me. I'm not even hearing from the Lord again. Father Lord, what have I done wrong? Where did I get it from, Lord? Holy Spirit, I need your help now. Come and help me. I'm tired of the whole thing. Father, I need your help. Mercy, Lord. Father Lord, have mercy on me. Ah, please, Lord, what have I done wrong? Where have I got it wrong? Father, Lord, reveal yourself unto me. I need new songs. Father, reveal yourself unto me, please, Lord. Father, Lord, help me. Reveal yourself unto me. Reveal yourself unto me. Ah, Baba, you are here. I know you will answer me. I know you will come and teach me new songs. Baba, I'm ready. I'm here. I'm ready for new songs. Baba, teach me new songs. Please, Baba. Where are you? Ah, you mean my book and my pen? I forgot it at home. Please, Baba. I have my laptop and my phone here with me. As you teach me new songs, I'll be typing on my phone and my laptop. Please, Baba. No, Busola. No, no, no. These are not the instruments of ministry that I get to you when I called you and anointed you for ministry. When I ordained you as a minstrel unto me among the nations, these were not the instruments of ministry that I gave to you. Where are they? Where are the instruments of ministry? Where are they? This is the garment of praise that I'm giving to you to put it on whenever you praise and worship in my presence. And signs and wonders will follow. Now, upon the pages of this note, you will write the revelations of the songs that I will put in your heart. Songs to turn the hearts of the sons back to the Father. To turn the heart of the lost back to my Lord. And with this pen, you will write down upon the pages of the notebook every word of inspiration that I put in your spirit. And with this timber, you will lead men in praise into my presence. Busola, these are the instruments of ministry that I am placing in your hand. They are covenant symbols of the relationship that I have with you. Is that okay? Keep them. Hold them dear to you. 
Where is the pen and the notebook that I gave to you to write down the revelations of the songs that I put in your mouth? Where are they? Please, Baba. Where is the garment of praise that I gave to you and commanded you to put it on whenever you stand to minister before me? Where is it? Please, Baba. Where is the timbrel that I placed in your hand to use to worship me every time you come into my presence? Where are they, Bishola? Where? Please, Baba, I'm very sorry. It was the producer, Mr. Oyeleke, hmm. that took the garments of praise you gave to me and gave me new garments <laughs> that fit into this world that we are into now, Baba. <laughs> Please, Baba, <laughs> help me. Please, Baba, I forgot the book at home. I have here my laptop and my phone. Baba, please, I need new songs now. Baba, you should know. I need new songs now. Baba, please. Please, Sola. Yes, Baba. You have missed the way. <laughs> you have left the narrow path that I set your feet upon. <laughs> you have mingled with the world. <laughs> you have gone into intimate friendship with the world. <laughs> Forgetting my word in the book of James chapter 4 verse 4. For friendship with the world is enmity with God. So like you have become an enemy to God. Get away from ah, me. Baba, please. You walk out of iniquity. Baba, Baba, please. Have mercy on me. Baba, please. Oh my God. Father, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Don't let me be your enemy. <laughs> I'm your beloved and favorite daughter. For the Lord, forgive me. <laughs> forgive me, Lord. Have mercy on me. <laughs> Don't let me be your enemy, Lord. Have mercy on me. Do I get this car that I need? How? And Busola, my team, she's no one picking my calls. You must pick call now. Oh, oh she don't know, say, nah, use her, the user. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> never. Oh, then, Jude, wake up, wake up, wake up. I beg you. Dude, your whole tea shop now. Eh? I must look for a way. And she must speak my calls. She must give me the money. But I won't shut him this to you. Lord, today is the third day of this fasting and prayer. Lord, we need your mercy. Lord, we need your mercy. Restore your power, Lord. Restore your grace, Lord. The power is reducing. The life is going down. The testimony of salvation is reducing. Signs and wonders are disappearing from your church. Your church is sick, Lord. Lord, restore us. Redeem us with the blood. The blood of Jesus. Redeem your church with the blood. Show forth yourself. Release your power, Lord. Release your power. Lord, we want you to show forth. People are dying young. Both young adults, both youth, sicknesses all around. In fact, sudden death is not rampant. Lord, Father, please have mercy on have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lord, Lord, arise, arise. Wash us from iniquity in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise, Lord. Arise, arise, arise. Heal us, heal us, deliver us, save us, save us, save us, save us. And your fair, my beloved son, welcome. I have heard the cries of your heart. I have seen your passion for the church. Mm. Unfortunately, the present state of the church makes the heavens to move. But my Lord and Savior, there are a lot of revivals going on around the world. Many people are rising up to do things in your glory. 
Many evangelists and pastors are organizing crusade, campaigns, seminars in your glory. Many young adults are rising up, singing songs, glorifying your name. All these things are coming in your name, Lord. I have heard. The truth is this. Many of those ministers are simply singing the Lord's song in a strange land. Many of them are not true shepherds. Majority are hirelings. They did not come in through the door. Many broke down the door to enter among the sheepfold. Some broke down the walls and climbed in into the sheepfold. They are nothing but wolves in sheepfold. Many perform miracles with satanic power. Many that climb the pulpit wine and dine with the devil secretly. Many of them are occultic. Many practice rituals. And many are into satanism. Lord have mercy. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. Mercy, Lord. Rise up, I offer. Rise up. Uh, uh. I have heard your cry. And I have answered your prayer. The same way I heard the cry of Daniel and I sent angel Gabriel to give him his answer. I have brought you here to reveal to you some secrets of the occurrences in the church today, so that you may go to warn them of the impending danger of hell and perdition coming. I have fear. Mm. The spirit that operates in the church and in the world today is the vagabond spirit. Vagabond spirit? Yes. I am fair. The vagabond spirit has found its way into the body of Christ. It is a spirit that has no resting place. It roams from place to place. It is the spirit that promotes the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life amongst men. Any life upon which the vagabond spirit alights and settles begins to roam. And unfortunately, when the vagabond spirit rests upon an anointed, such a person begins to operate under the vagabond anointing. The vagabond spirit. It is a spirit of mama. Loves money above the things of God. It was the spirit that landed upon Cain and made him to slay his brother Abel. The same spirit came upon Judas and he sold his master for 30 pieces of silver. This same spirit landed upon Ananias and Sapphira and they lied about the amount that they sold their land. It is the same spirit that came upon Demas and he loved the world more than the work of the Father. It is a dangerous spirit, my son, I offer. I offer, let me show you how it all started. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you return so early? The task before you supposed to take months, even years. Why did you return so early? Thank you, my lord. The task was not easy. Hmm. The children of the only one knows the right weapon to use to protect and prevent us from entering into their midst. How do you mean? I mean they know the right weapon to use, which is praise. The presence of the only one was mighty in their midst and they were surrounded by the fire of the Holy One. So, Olori, it was so difficult for us to penetrate or mm. enter into their midst. Then I have to see it myself. The 
great one, the Lucifer, said we should speed up with the work in our hands because the Holy One is coming soon. And the time is very short so that we'll be able to pollute their minds so that their works will not be acceptable before the Holy One so that they can end up in hell just like us. <laughs> what are we going to do now that they have the hedge of fire around them? If we cannot penetrate them, how do we get there? Hmm. Ulori, I have a suggestion. Hamoka, what do you mean? You know, it is written in their only book that the only one inhabits the presence of his people. And the only one dwells in the place and gathering that is holy. And you all know his eyes cannot behold iniquities. So let us pollute their art of presence and worship. Let us influence them. So let us indirectly enter into their midst with the method of this world. Let us enter into their midst with the worldly songs worldly dresses, worldly dance, even worldly dance steps. With this, the presence of the Holy One will depart from them. Mm. And then we will be able to penetrate and operate in them. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It is written in the only book that the only one is the spirit. And those that worship the holy one must worship him in spirit and in truth. Mm. Mm. We need to pollute them with worldliness, lust of flesh, mm. lust of eyes, mm. pride of life. <laughs> with this, they will no longer see or hear from their Holy One. Mm -hmm. They will not know the deep secrets of the Holy One. So we can be able to lure them so that their worship will not be acceptable before the Holy One. So our mission can be accomplished. <laughs> 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 now let us infiltrate them. You, you will join the choir. Then you will sing our own type of songs and pollute them. You, you will join the hushers. You know how it rolls. You will shake them so that their minds will be polluted. They will not be able to hear anything in the church. <laughs> you go and join the counselors so that you counsel them towards our mission so that their mind will be blown. <laughs> and how you will enter into the leadership so that it will fall from the head ah. and there will be no more anointing. <laughs> <laughs> and that was how the vagabond spirit entered into the church of God and injected the anointed with the vagabond anointing. Vagabond spirit? Vagabond anointing? I offer? Hmm. The vagabond anointing drew many away from my presence and they began to pursue the things of this world. And that was how my presence departed from the church. It cabled. The glory lifted. And so, many things began to invade the church. Sins of every kind came into the church. Sicknesses and persecutions began to invade the church because the covering and the glory had been lifted. Men began to knock and I refused to open the door. They asked 
and I refused to answer. They sought and I ensured that they could not find. Because they allowed the vagabond anointing to take over the church. That is why the enemy gained entrance into the church. That is why many premature deaths, many sicknesses prevail in the body of Christ. Go and wonder. Tell my people to check the lives of the people that they bring upon my pulpits. For when men with vagabond anointings lay hands on the innocent people, they transfer the spirits upon them and they begin to rule too. Tell them to retrace their steps. Let them return to the paths of holiness and righteousness as it was in the beginning. Tell them to beware. For I come quickly and my reward shall be with me to give to everyone according to his labor in my vine, I come quickly. Go, I offer. Go and deliver my message to the church and my grace will be sufficient. Oh my God, oh my God, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, we've gone astray, the enemy has come to your people, Lord, have mercy, Lord, forgive us our iniquity, forgive us, Lord, have mercy, Lord, your word says in Isaiah chapter 59 verse 1 to 2, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, nor is ear heavy, that it cannot hear us. But your iniquity have separated you from your God, and your sin have hidden his face from you, as he will not hear. Ah, Lord, have mercy upon us. Now I realize, now I realize that our sin has separated us from God. That is why we knock. The doors are not open. That is why we pray and you are not hearing us. That is why we search and we cannot find. Ah, Lord, mercy. All we need is mercy. Mercy, O oh Lord. Mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Lord. Yeah. Lord, mercy, mercy, mercy. That was the revelation, sir. Hmm. That was a great revelation and a very deep secret that the Lord revealed in His grace and mercy. To tell you the truth, Pastor Yofi, yes. I too, I am fed up with the state and the condition in which the church is now. This was not the way we started. This was not the faith we contended for. Faith started to change gradually and we were not watchful and not careful. All because of earthly gains. Hmm. Pastor Yove, thank you for taking your time to seek the face of God in prayer. I must say, I am sorry for all that I also contributed negatively in this particular situation. Thank you, sir. We also thank God for the kind of father you are. Um, but Pastor Yves, yes, what do you suggest that we do in this situation? Sir, I would like to suggest that um, we go to the presence of God in fasting and prayer and we cast out the spirit of vagabond so that his anointing will not operate in the church again. So we need to cast out the demons, even the spirit of vagabond, so that his anointing will not be operating in the church. And we go back to God so that we return to the fullness of His presence. Okay. We are going to declare His seven day fast in all our branches. And it's not going to be in our churches alone. We are going to make it an online publication so that as many denominations that want to join us can also be part of it. We need to pray to drive out this 
vagabond spirit and vagabond anointing from the church. Amen. Right now. Amen. Oh, by the grace of God, sir, I will inform the, the Department of um, Publicity so that he can do the publication, sir. Oh, that's good. Um, the live streaming, the online program, it's going to take place in your church. Wow. It's an honor, sir. Ah. It's an honor, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we thank God. Thank you. God. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, oh my God. For everything you've been doing in my life. Thank you, Lord, for all these ministerial doors that you've opened unto me. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Whew. Thank you, Lord. Ah, okay, the link. Wow. 500,000 streams. Just in 24 hours? Oh, thank you, Jesus. What will I do without this man? Oh, that reminds me. Let me just click on the link he said I should click. Okay. Busola, you are welcome in our midst. This is the gathering of the Amuluduns. <laughs> we make people dance and dance away their sorrow. We operate under the vagabond spirit and vagabond anointing. We receive the alert the moment you click on that link. We just want you to know you are now our member. You now begin to operate under the vagabond anointing and vagabond spirit. <laughs> Your task is to begin to sing song under the vagabond spirit and the vagabond anointing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, what fills my heart now is fear, panic and worries. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> Lord, I need your help. Father Lord, forgive me. I have trespassed against your word. I have sinned against you, Lord. <laughs> King of glory, have mercy on me. <laughs> Father Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Lord, <laughs> I need, I, I just have to pray and fast. <laughs> vagabond spirit, <laughs> vagabond anointing must live my life. <laughs> I have to seek the face of the Lord. Lord, forgive me. Uh -uh. Pastor, you're fair again. Is it the only one? What he did in PFN is still there. And now he's talking about vagabond spirit, vagabond anointing. I mean, this is nonsense. It doesn't even make sense at all. <sighs> but this is serious. Oh. The things that I've, I have been hiding from my church members. This man has started exposing everything. How do I make money now? Let me 
mean? How do I make money from them? Especially Busola. I must make this money. Ah, no, no, no. I must not lose, lose this chance at all. Oh, God. God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Father. I'm back home. I'm sorry. I'm back like the prodigal son. I ask for your forgiveness. Forgive me. I'm sorry for leading your congregation in the wrong way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for wrongly diluting your word. I'm sorry. Lord, I ask that every vagabond spirit and anointing live my life now. Remove every vagabond spirit and anointing from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. Renew right spirit within me. I am at the altar with my father. Whoever the father sets free, he is free indeed. I receive my freedom now. I am free. <laughs> Father Lord, today is the sixth day in this prayer and fasting. <laughs> Father Lord, forgive me, Lord. <laughs> King of glory, answer my prayers, Lord. <laughs> Jesus, I need your help. I know I have sinned against you. <laughs> Father Lord, forgive me my sins, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> today you must answer me. <laughs> Father Lord, <laughs> I want to hear you. <laughs> I want to hear your voice. <laughs> King of glory. Have mercy on me. Today, you must answer me, Lord. Today is the sixth day in this fasting and prayer, O oh Lord. King of glory, listen to my cry, Lord. I need your help. I realize myself as a sinner. Jesus, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Today, you must answer me. Father, Lord, have mercy upon me, Lord. Have mercy on me. Your word says in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 18, Come now and let us bring things together. Say the Lord, though your sin be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crystal, they shall be as wool. Father, I come unto you today. Wash me clean with your precious blood. Father, Lord, forgive me, Lord. Jesus. Father, Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy, Baba. Ah, Baba, you are here. Welcome, Baba. Welcome, Baba. Osola. Yes, Baba. I will have mercy on you. Because it is written, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will show compassion to whom I will show compassion. I will restore you. Take again your garment of praise. I give to you again your notebook to write your revelations at first. Take the pen of divine inspiration and I hand over to you again the timbrel of praise and worship. Your instruments have been restored back to you. Now rise with a new unction. Bring out your pen and your paper and write. 
as I give you a new song. Vagabond spirit. Every vagabond anointing that is operating in this auditorium to so hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 18, verse 45, it says, The stranger shall fade away and fear out of their close places. I speak to you, vagabond spirit spirit and vagabond anointing to flee out of every of your clothes and hidden places in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Glory, hallelujah to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Right, brethren, uh, we thank God for this seven days fasting and prayer. And um, to those who are watching online and to those who are watching everywhere, I want to take note to everything that God has spoken to us in these seven days. Uh, obviously, you know God has been healing His touch and uh, He will heal us permanently in Jesus' name. And every vagabond spirit is out in Jesus' name. All right, thank you very much. We want to appreciate God for this seven day fasting and prayer. Now we want to invite our own dear evangelist, Busola, repented Busola. Can we clap our hands, please? Let's clap our hands for our beloved, repented evangelist, Busola, for our ministration. Over to you. God bless you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. What the Lord is demanding and requesting from everyone is genuine repentance. What the Lord needs is genuine repentance. 
according to the word of God, in the book of uh, Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse fourteen, that says, "If my people, which shall call by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their evil way, then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land." This is the word of God, beloved. God is waiting for everyone for repentance. According to the word of God, in the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verse 9, that says, God do not mean that anyone should perish, but that all souls should come to repentance. Beloved, this is the time to turn from your wicked way. This is the time to trace yourself back to God. This is the time to rededicate your life to God. This is the time to turn from that evil way and that wicked way and begin to walk in the way of the Lord. There are many people that are walking in the way that cements right to a man, which the Bible says the end thereof are way of death. Beloved, God is waiting for each and every one in genuine repentance. Repent of your evil way today and ask God for forgiveness. Vagabond spirit, vagabond anointing is not the will of God for any man. Turn to Christ today and be renewed. Turn to Christ today and be revived. Turn to Christ today and your sins will be forgiven and you shall be restored and the joy of your salvation shall be restored. I pray so shall it be in Jesus' name. Maybe you have just watched this narrative drama and you want to rededicate your life to Christ or you want to give your life to Christ. Can you please say this prayer after me? Dear Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I realize myself as a sinner. I want to rededicate my life unto you. Father Lord, forgive me all my sins. Wash me clean with your precious blood. Write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Beloved, now that you have rededicated your life to Christ, the next thing now is to be careful not to fall again. According to the word of God that says, He that thinketh his stand should be careful, least he fall. I pray we will not fall in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray when the Lord shall appear, we shall all appear with him in glory in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom. Jesus came that we might have life, and now it's more abundantly. I Has committed sin is so devil. He 